I just officially got into Alabama again. I've been here before, but I'm driving into Alabama this time. And uh, so I'm out of Florida and I pulled off about an hour ago because it was raining really hard. Like the rain was really coming down hard. And you can only do like 40 miles an hour with the windshield wipers on full blast and it was still hard to see. So thunderstorms in the forecast today. That's okay, it's like what, the second day of spring or something? Beautiful. But I'm gonna get back on the road and cover some ground. I was at a Walmart in Defuniac, Florida yesterday, and I had three, yes, count them, three people recognize me in the van and were friendly enough to come up and say hi. So that was awesome. I, I think that's cool when that happens. It'll probably happen a lot more too, but right now we're gonna get back on the road and travel oh jacksimus maximus that's my seat though but but this this is mine this no you, you don't you don't care Still taking back roads right now, county roads and state routes, which I love it, 50 miles an hour, really scenic. But once I get into Birmingham, Alabama, I'll be switching over to I-65 the whole way up. So we'll do this for a while though. my 300th video guys I say officially because as of right now I have 300 videos although I have deleted about 26 total videos in the last year and a half most of those were deleted because they had copyrighted music in them that I couldn't monetize and I didn't want to get in trouble but this is my 300th video here on YouTube so you know thank you everybody who watches my channel thank you for everybody who wakes up in the morning or has dinner and decides to watch my videos instead of everybody else's. Or, even if you watch everybody else's, thank you for watching my videos too. I really appreciate your viewership and I wouldn't be here on the road able to share everything that's going on if it wasn't for people watching my videos, commenting on my videos, and uh, giving me a thumbs up on my videos, making them popular. So, thank you guys. It's, a, it's really awesome to have everyone and I really love having such an awesome fan base of viewers here on YouTube. It's really exciting. The channel has come a long ways and uh, I had to be honest if it wasn't for people watching then it wouldn't matter so believe me I do uh, I do have to be really thankful for people choosing to watch my videos and not just giving up. And if you do give up I understand some people are more into the touristy attraction type places some people hate those and only like it when I do these driving videos, so I tend to give a pretty much mixture of everything that's involved with my life. Not just a daily vlog, but not just showing attractions and stuff. But I got I lo absolutely love these back roads. More than anything, I love these back roads. I'm in uh, Coffee County, Alabama right now. My kind of my kind of county, coffee. Right there. Donald special. All right, put on some miles. Here just pulled off at Doc's Country Store and Unique and Usual General Store.
place. I'm gonna drive back to their little flea market back there too. I did buy something. Got me a new NASCAR metal sign. So I'll move the Ford down or something or I'll put NASCAR here and put Ford at the bottom. Cool. Say what now? Meow. Meow. <laughs> This is the uh, newer small gas can that I got. It's a two, two gallon. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. You know, as I start traveling around in the van, I find out what, what works better. I don't need this five gallon. So once I use this gas up in the generator, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to find a place to store the other smaller gas can. What I may end up doing is putting a plastic bag over the spout, turn it on, and I may store it inside. If not, the gas can does fit right here between the base of this and the bumper discreetly hidden a little more. And the toolbox I'm also gonna get rid of. I'm gonna empty all of my tools into those cheap little 99 cent uh, Walmart bins and store them somewhere else. Maybe two or three bins instead of the toolbox. Because the toolbox does not fit in any of the compartments under the bed right now, so change that up. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.